Six ages defined the lifespan of an empire. The age of pioneers. The age of conquests. The age of commerce. The age of affluence. The age of intellect, ending with bread and circuses in the age of decadence. That was a little clip from Four Horsemen, a documentary by Renegade Economist, and it is must-see YouTube TV, and there will be a link to it. And it is describing the ages of an empire, and those are defined by Sir John Glubb, who wrote about the fate of empires and search for survival. And he's a smart guy. You should read all about him. So there will be a link to this as well. And here are the empires. And if you'll see, he found that on average, an empire lasts in duration about 250 years. America is 238 years old. And are we in the age of decadence? Is it getting scary? Are we getting to those times where we are not going to see what was left for us, left for our children? Here's the summary and the ages within the fall of empires, rise and fall. Decadence is marked by defensiveness, pessimism, materialism, frivolity, an influx of foreigners, the welfare state, and a weakening of religion. And it is due to too long a period of wealth and power, selfishness, love of money, and the loss of a sense of duty. We have so lost the idea of personal responsibility, manners, etiquette. We love sex, money, anything that will make us feel good, and that's all selfishness. It, we are living in a do what thou wilt, and we need to open our eyes and seek truth. Or it's going to be on our backs and on our conscience what we left for our children. Strangely, perhaps, there's another profession that is disproportionately hallowed as an empire declines. The Romans, the Ottomans, and the Spanish all made celebrities of their chefs. And this, again, is typifying the end of an empire. That was a clip from Four Horsemen by the Renegade Economists, and this is from Salon, Eight Striking Parallels Between the U.S. and the Roman Empire. You will see, number one, staggering increase in the cost of elections, politics as the road to personal wealth, that's happening a lot, continuous war, foreign powers lavishing money, hello China, Profits made overseas shaping the republic's internal policies, multinationals, collapse of the middle class that's been happening for at least the last decade, gerrymandering, both parties guilty, and the loss of the spirit of compromise. D.C. is like a bad wife swap, and this politics is the road to personal wealth. It's both sides, and it's dangerous. And this, again, is typifying the end of an empire where things were so great, we have this last oomph of momentum that we used to be great, and we felt great, and we don't feel it anymore. So everyone is out searching for it. Well, maybe it's in the best food, or the best clothes, or the best music, or the best movies, or a reality TV show, or another magazine. So the sixth and final age in the rise and fall of an empire is the age of decadence. And here you can see decadence is defined as the moral or cultural decline as characterized by excessive indulgence in pleasure and luxury. That's all we are today, folks, is entertainment, bread and circus. Ask questions, seek truth, and check out the Renegade Economist, Four Horsemen. It's worth your time.